Hello, this is the Metamorphosis of the Cube. I'm Professor Eric Domain in CSAIL at MIT, and this is joint work with Martin Domain, Anna Libu, Joseph O'Rourke, and Irina Pachenko. And we're looking here at different foldings and unfoldings of uh, surfaces in 3D. Here we have our friend the cube and a familiar unfolding of the cube called the cross unfolding. And it turns out that if you change the creases in the cross and fold it up a different way, you can make all sorts of different convex polyhedra. Here we have a very simple one, a flat, doubly covered quadrilateral, but all the others are going to be non-flat. So we saw the cube, we've got the quadrilateral. The next one is a pentahedron, five sides, and we form exactly the surface of this uh, bilaterally symmetric pentahedron. On the other hand, if we change the creases in this way, then we get a tetrahedron. This is my favorite because the little tab fits exactly into the pocket. You get exactly the surface of that tetrahedron. Not a regular tetrahedron, but a tetrahedron nonetheless. And finally, if we change the creases in this way, we get an octahedron. And all of these polyhedra are computed automatically with an algorithm that, given a flat shape, tells you all of the different convex polyhedra that it can glue up into. So here we had five different shapes, the cube, the quadrilateral, the pentahedron, the tetrahedron, and the octahedron. But for different polygons, you get different 3D shapes. And just to give you an idea of the range of unfolding, unfolding is a lot harder. If I give you a 3D surface, you cut it up and try to unfold it. Uh, when does it overlap is a big question. That was an example of a non-overlapping unfolding. There's quite a variety in what you can do. Here's a particularly fun unfolding we call the stoplight unfolding of the cube. Looks like a stoplight. And here's one example of another 3D uh, convex polyhedron you can fold it up into, which we call the spaceship for technical reasons. And again, the algorithm automatically computes all the different 3D convex polyhedra you can glue that flat shape into. Here we go back to the cube. And this is ongoing research in computational geometry.